Hello everyone and welcome back to the Corner Corner. I was not expecting to make this video for a couple more days, but I am rescuing a Greek tortoise and I was supposed to pick him up on Friday. Today's Monday and the rescue called basically being like, I completely forgot I was going to be away this weekend, but I know you said you had availability today. Could you pick him up tonight between 5 and 10? It's currently 4.30. Um, I am working starting at 6, so I'm picking him up right now. I should be there around 5 and then <laughs> speed home go to work and then come back and everything in he has his enclosure set up but I will not be back till late tonight so I'm have my carrier honestly I'm hoping he fits in here um I <laughs> my I did see him in person once and I think this carrier is big enough he's not gonna he's been gonna be in the car for like 15 minutes um I'm just really flustered because I was not expecting him to pick him up I was not expecting to pick him up today. But we're gonna go pick him up. I'm super duper excited. This tortoise is so freaking sweet. And I'll film more after I go get him. But I'm gonna start heading over in probably about five minutes. I'm kind of just sitting in the car, <laughs> catching up my thoughts. Um, Cause I just got off the phone and I was like, I can come right now and she was like, okay. But anyways, I'm super excited. It's a Greek tortoise. Um, he is about nine years old. He does have a pretty bad shell deformity and MBD, so his back legs don't really move well. So you'll see his enclosure is very like bare and set up for a uh, disabled reptile. So I'll show you. He does, he can move pretty well though. So I'll show you everything when I get back. Probably after work tonight, it's probably gonna be late, but I'm so excited. Okay, so it is the next morning around 7.30 a.m. I, this week I'm walking dogs at 6 a.m. and I'm very tired, but I'm gonna get a bowl and make, so his name is currently Jake. We're definitely gonna change it, um, but we haven't even had enough time to like talk about it yet, me and my boyfriend, so I'm gonna call him Jake in this video, but I'm gonna give him his food and then supplements too because I honestly have no idea what supplements he's had or anything. So yeah, we are going to make a little oh my goodness, make a little salad for him. And this video is like a lot more chaotic than my normal videos, uh because I was not expecting to make this so soon, so so sorry about that. But we brought him home yesterday. It's the next morning. Honestly, last night he was hiding. I didn't interact with him much or anything, so we didn't do much. But yeah, I brought him home. Uh, this rescue gives you like an intake form, which is everything the old owner filled out. And then I also have his vet records and all of that. They actually, so this rescue is like pretty local. It's about 15 minutes from me. So they go to the same vet we do, which is uh, extremely convenient. So yeah, but I am making his salad. He's having collard greens. And I'm honestly, today I'm just gonna feed him collard greens to see what he eats, like if how much he eats and everything. And then I have romaine and other greens in the fridge that I can feed him on Thursday. Today's Tuesday and he eats every other day. So right now I'm just kind of seeing how much he'll eat. I'm also going to feed Kevin who's our Herman's tortoise. He's downstairs too. So getting all of this together in a bowl. So I have the bowl of lettuce and I'll give them also some flower topper and then I'll put the supplements in there. So I have it in the bowl because they both eat on slate plates. And I just make them a salad together and I kind of uh, like divvy it up down there. And then they're gonna get supplement. I'm gonna mix it all together. Make sure it's pretty evenly coated. Uh, what I use for 
tortoises and my chocolate is the Rapashi all-in-one super veggie herbivore supplement. Yeah, so I'm gonna go take this down there. I'm gonna take some paper towels down there too because there might still be some food from yesterday from Kevin. So I'm gonna clean that up. Let's go. Also, according to his size, he honestly might have to eat more than this, but I like literally have no idea how much he'll eat. So I'm gonna just kind of see first. Turn the light on down here. So let me show you what he has going on. So this is a five foot by three foot enclosure. Since he is disabled, um, I like honestly just have to see how he behaves, how he moves because he does have a lot of mobility issues and he's on towels because he has a lot of trouble walking on substrate. So this is what we're working with. UVB basking and then his really shallow water dish so he can actually get into it. Uh, eating plate and then a hide. So this is all we have right now because like I just don't know what he's gonna be like. I am gonna turn on his lights. These are not on a timer yet because this govy thing apparently is broken so that's fun. But let's feed him. So I did pick him up so you can see him. He's a pretty bad shell deformity and he's just overall really dry. So he'll be needing soaks and everything, but he is a decent size. I'm gonna put him near his food, see what he eats. He's going to town on this food. So they did tell me he has a pretty good appetite. I'm hoping that's true um, because I gave him, I honestly don't think I'll give him more food than this. It is like the, pretty much the size of his shell. It is kind of like he's crunching now and it's not supposed to be crunchy. But that could have to do with his beak. He did get a beak trimming and a shell trimming uh, a couple weeks ago. So I won't have to do that for six months to a year. But he's eating, which is really exciting. Okay, so he did eat a good amount and then he kind of dragged it everywhere. But that's okay. He's basking right now. He's so cute. So yeah, he's basking, which is a really good sign. I just love him. Oh my goodness. He has the cutest little face. And I really am obsessed with this little guy. I am in our basement. Um, I have Crush right here. He's huffing puffing. I'm gonna let him walk around on the ground. I wanted to chat really quick. Um, If you guys have been following me on Instagram, I haven't talked, I don't think about this at all on YouTube, but my Herman's tortoise Kevin became very sick about a month ago. Um, they thought it was a respiratory infection. They treated it and it. they don't think it was because um, there was zero improvement. Actually, he did end up getting worse. So I took him to the vet this morning and they ended up diagnosing it as a failure to thrive. And if you know me, you know I've dealt with failure to thrive before um, my African fat toe gecko. And we hand fed her critical care for three months until she started eating on her own again. And now she's two years old and doing great. Um, but Kevin, my Herman's tortoise, was not showing pretty much any promising signs. Like, literally none. Like, there wasn't anything to be like, that's that's something that's good. We're going to hold on to that and take that and hope he can get better. There was like nothing. So we ended up putting him down, um, which was, it was hard, but like I went to the vet appointment expecting to have that conversation and expecting that to happen. It was still really hard though. Like I cried the whole time I was there. So he is being cremated, but we are not keeping his ashes or anything. Um, I have like a weird relationship with death. I worked at a nursing home for a couple years and I watch people die like every week. It like, I have, I don't want to like hang on to his death. Um, 
which is why I decided not to keep his ashes. So what this, my vet does is they will cremate him and then the owner takes the ashes and he has like a memorial garden that he'll spread them in. So that's what they're going to do with his ashes. We are going to get a little clay, like paw print thing, um, or like footprint, I guess. So that's like a memorial thing we're doing, but yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that on here. I don't think I honestly talked about it at all because I haven't been active on YouTube and I talk about it a lot on my Instagram, but, um, yeah, we adopted Crush a couple of days ago. I saw Kevin declining, but I, I really wasn't expecting to put him down, um, until the day after we brought Crush home, um, he started, Kevin started showing a lot of signs of decline. So, that happened. Um, and we have Crush here. I never want to come off as, or feel like I'm replacing a reptile after they pass away. Um, Crush was a decision out of our love for tortoises, um, like, you can see his shell deformity. He was in a rescue that, like, didn't have enough space to give him everything he could need. So, that's why we ended up taking him home. And we thought Kevin would get better, but he didn't. So, yeah. Um, The rescue that we got crushed from, which I'll talk more about in a different clip probably at the end of this video does have two Russian tortoises on their wait list. So when those eventually come in, we probably will go meet them and just see. But that won't be for a good bit. So yeah, um, I wasn't expecting to put that, this like in this video. I just, like Kevin was living down here with um Crush in separate enclosures, so. Uh, I thought it would be appropriate to put that in here. But yeah, anyways, I gotta give Crush a soak. Um, he's really dry from his previous owners. He was dehydrating everything, so he does need soaks. But we're gonna get that prepped for him. This video definitely did not go where I expected it to. As you saw in the last clip, I had to put Kevin, my Herman's tortoise, to sleep. Crush is doing great um we are working with him seeing what his limitations are as far as mobility goes seeing what he needs um being that he does like have some issues with like his metabolic bone disease and everything but he is doing really well i did make a lot of changes to his enclosure that i'm going to be showing you in the next clip but i did want to check in this is like two weeks after kevin passed away um i did have to take a break from this video and from a lot of things just to process everything and make sure that I was keeping my animals as a priority and not filming. So that's what happened. Um, I am gonna kind of go downstairs, show you Crush's enclosure. It's not the cleanest right now. Um, we do have two pairs of towels, so four towels total that we swap out and his towels right now are being cleaned to be changed tomorrow morning. So not the cleanest, um, but I'm gonna go show you him, his enclosure, and yeah, just give a little update about him and how he's doing. He's doing really well, and I'm super excited to show you everything that I've been working on with him. Okay, so we are going to the basement where Crush is set up. This basement is kind of a mess, but this is Crush's current enclosure. I did make a good bit of changes. Again, I will be cleaning this tomorrow, but he destroyed his salad from today. This is his eating slate, and then there's also poop that, again, will be replaced with the towels tomorrow. He has his two fig plants, which I think were in here before. I did get this bath mat to put in here because he will dump over this entire bowl of water, and then it will soak into the wood, and I don't want that. So he has this little bath mat now. He does have cuddle bone, which he was chomping at, so... He has that, and then his plant, which he did try to eat this, but quickly realized he, um, it's fake, and he cannot eat it, so 
it should be fine now. And then this is my man under his basking light. Hello. And that's his um, slate basking platform that he loves. And then once this basement is clean, which it will be very soon, I just need a day to kind of go through all of it. He will be able to free roam around here. And then I think we'll also probably get him a basking platform somewhere so he can uh, bask if he wants to be out and about too. But that is what we have going on right now. And here's Crush, the sweet boy. So I don't know how much of a close up I showed of Crush earlier, but he is a decent sized tortoise and he is still getting used to me which is okay. He does sometimes let me like scratch his chin. Maybe, yeah, he still get used to me. But yeah, his back legs don't work very well. He scooches, but his shell, it's pyramided. Like you can see this whole thing's kind of like raised up. You can really see it right here. But other than that, he's not like in the worst shape. And he is getting there. Um, we do give him soaks because he is extremely dry. I know he's like backing up. He's like, what are you doing? But he is a pretty chill tortoise, really, really active during the day. And I'm just excited to keep getting to know him. Thank you so much for watching today's video on the Critter Corner. I really appreciated all the support that I got on Instagram, especially after posting about Kevin passing away. It was, this is my first animal that I've had to like put down and it was like an incredibly hard decision and I don't, I like don't regret that decision at all but like it still really sticks with me. So this is something that I'm working through and I really have been spending so much time with my animals and just really giving them everything that I can. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. And now I have a rescue tortoise that needs me and needs my help living the best life he can too. So that's the great thing about rescuing. I'm getting into rescuing a lot more is that I can like help an animal that wasn't getting the care it needed before. So I'm still processing everything. But I am super excited about the future of this channel and I'm super excited to keep continuing to learn about tortoises and everything and just have this guy crush eventually go to shows with us and meet kids and everything and I have a lot of plans and I'm super excited about them and super excited to take you all on those journeys with me. So thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!